Gabi, I really love the beach. Thanks for inviting me here. You know how much I love it too. No problem. Just enjoy this one. Hey guys, what are you doing here? We were looking for you. Hi friends. I tried to stop Gonzal, but you know how he is. Alright, Gonzal. Yeah, I know why you're here. You know, man, I was just trying to relax a little with my girl and stuff, you know, but... Fine. I know that we have some stuff to do, so... <sighs> let's just do this. Alright, sweethearts. Let's just finish this. What's up, guys? This is Goldbrot once more here, bringing you some new and fresh content. So what's up? How you doing? Are you gonna tell me how you are? No? Alright. So, I hope you enjoyed this one and hey, hey, psst, psst, let me tell you something. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> there you go. So here we are at the mercenaries at Astro. We're gonna take this first quest that is basically getting this uh, cop a beer. And that's, that's it. That was a quest, just bringing him a beer, some kind of initiation or something, just quite like that. Very easy, you just need to go to the tavern and buy a beer, and then you give it to him. And then he's gonna tell you that you need to help some people, it's a total of, it's a total of four people actually, and the first one is gonna be Cindy, Cindy Cat, so... To do this quest, to complete it, you need to get a a wand, a Rikiki wand. I noticed that I could actually level my carver up in order to make these ones instead of buying them. So that's exactly what I just did. Getting some profit out of it. You know, I'm a businessman. So I quick one to the marketplace and bought the resources that will get me to Carver level 40 and then some other resources that I needed to craft the ones because I had some but I didn't have all of them so as you can see here I'm just showing you how I leveled it up using some staffs and some yeah basically staffs <laughs> Then I bought the leftover resources because I already had some of them, as I mentioned before, from the previous episodes. And let's just craft them. Here we are, getting... But, Goldberg, why 10? Well, because I told you that I wanted to get some profit. So, this was just to take a look at the market in this server. I wanted to realize if it was worth it to craft certain things and then just, you know, sell them to get some profit. I'm gonna show you that a little bit later, maybe in another video, maybe in the final of this video. We don't know. Then, of course, we need to go to this little house because you actually need to kill some of these monsters that are here in this um, dungeon. For that, you need to equip the Rikiki one to be able to be a little, little character and enter to the dungeon. So here we are fighting these monsters. Those are like bugs or something like that. I don't know if they are real creatures or they're like, you know, something they just invented. But yeah, you need to kill a total of... 15 of those monsters so as you can see here you will drop these boxes it's gonna be 100% rate so you don't even need to um, do the challenges and stuff and I decided to show you here uh, the final boss at a little bit of a really high speed because um, this combat was actually a little bit um, boring so you can see here that I I was trying to get two achievements out of this one because you know every single time I run a dungeon I just try to do as many achievements as possible to buy me some time you know there's no time to waste as the previous episode said no time to relax right so 
yep that was it here uh, we were just like killing these ones and um, I decided to run the dungeon because you will get like nine or ten boxes out of it you will not get the 15 ones you actually need so then you need to visit another place that I'm gonna show you a little bit later but first look at this one I really love when they do that <laughs> and of course we got ourselves another level so let's just take a look at this one whoa a lot of experience so then you need to enter to this house you just need to press this button and you enter to this room and oh, oh my God. Mm, okay this was the wrong what? house you didn't see that all right <laughs> So now you need to come here to the jewelry workshop. You need to use the Rikiki one again, and you will find a little hole at the second floor, and you will find some other monsters here, so you can fight as many as you want. And so, yep, that's how you get the 15 boxes out of it. So here you have them, the last ones. Then you need to take him to Cindy back, and as simple as that, you will get another quest completed easy enough right let's go with the next one the next one's gonna be with vegetarian you need to talk to her she's gonna tell you that she has some troubles with the plants in the zone so you need to kill two of each and they will drop something that she needs for some reason it's a special resource it's gonna be 100% drop rate as far as I know you will see that on the screen and you can't buy these resources so you actually need to kill those monsters but it's not a big deal right mm -mm. so the next step is talking to her again telling her that it's not longer a problem and then you will need to find another character in this map and you will need to defeat it mm -hmm. it's just a tiny one so it's a little bit hard to see over here so as I mentioned before you need to kill that one as well and it's gonna be with some partners so be prepared and as simple as that you kill this one it's not a big deal actually you talk to Faye again you tell her that her problems are over and you can move on with your adventure so the next step will be to talk to this fisherman over here at the beach he will ask you to kill three snappers of each color and I came to the dungeon actually and I talked to this person and talked to him again uh... Bruh. Oh, oh my god you talk a lot man stop it now after talking to him for like seven hours and a half he finally let me inside the dungeon and I recommend you to do the dungeon because you will find enough as um, snappers here to complete the the quest and just before continuing maybe you know this but oh my god look at that if you're leveling up fishermen and you're like level 10 or something like that or after level 10 you should pay this dungeon a visit because you will find a lot of shrimps over here so you will get like at least half and half a level or one level of fishermen just by fishing all these ones I just wanted to show you this because I really love this part and well let's continue I'm showing you now here um, the final boss fight because um, I wanted you to see that I tried again to make or achieve as many achievements <laughs> as possible. It was not hard at all. It's really easy here. So, as you can see, well, look at this first. <laughs> I love it. Yep, I got most of them. I was just missing duo. So easy, busy. Then you come back to the fisherman and you are done. You need to move on to the next step and the last one talking to Geoffrey Guffrey 
Jeffrey Baratheon from Game of Thrones. Shh, 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 don't tell anyone. So he's basically asking you to kill some gobbles. Easy. You don't really need to drop something, as you can see here. Just, just kill them, and that's it. You talk to Godfrey again, and you come back to Astrop. You talk to Iger, and guess what? Now you've got the achievement, Mercenary of Steel. Yes, sir. One more to go. Then you need to talk to this Stravian mercenary, and she's basically gonna ask you to kill some larvae. Um, pretty simple fights. You just need to kill like a dozen of them. I killed a little bit more, but it's like you don't really need to. You just need to drop um, 12 meats or parts of larvae. Not a big deal. Then you talk back to her. She's gonna ask you to stay on guard for these goblins. And uh, they're gonna play with you a little bit. So, um, it's like someone hits you with something. You lose consciousness and you need to look for them again. Then you need to fight them. It's a pretty simple fight. Just a couple of monsters. Um, it's a single combat. You don't need to do this many times. Then you need to talk to Erty. Erty. You need to go to his house. You need to water some plants because this guy loves plants. I mean, I mean it. Sorry. So yeah, you just need to enter here. You need to water the plants upstairs. You need to water the plants downstairs. And then you need to talk to him again. And then you need to talk to Mary, Melly, Marie, and to Emilia because you need to find a solution and some kind of uh, experimentations he's doing. Then you need to talk to Dragonsly, and here you have some of the resources I mentioned before that if you had them in your inventory, you will save a lot of time. Well, you start using them. Now you take these ingredients. And you craft some sort of, um, well, chemical thing for the plants. You talk to Amelia again, and it seems like you need to use these chemicals on the barns because there's some kind of infection around. So you need to go to two places. This is the second one, and there will be a combat. It's a single combat. It's pretty easy. Then you go back to Dragon's Lie. Then you go back to Erty. I mean, this quest is a lot of, you know, going and coming back. Ah. You go back to his home once more. And you will have here just a very, very easy combat against one rose. Super easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Then you go back to him. <laughs> oh my god. Then you go to Raymond. And you go back to early again. It's just a lot of talking, and that's how you finish it. The other one is the Disciple of Sept, which is having a lot of troubles with some monsters around. So basically, you need to kill five wolves. After you kill those, you come back to him. You tell him they are really fried. And you need to look for a person that was injured by some kind of a monster. He thought it was a wolves, but it was not. Then you need to talk to the hunter. Then you need to look for some honey because it seems like you're looking for a bear. And so you talk to this person here. You look for some clues in the woods and you will find the bear man. Now, this combat is gonna be a little bit more tricky just a little bit, but my recommendation here, as you can see in the picture, the screen, is to make the Echo Flip tank the giant bear for you. Meanwhile, you're hitting the bear man. If you don't hit the bear man, the combat is not gonna end well. You're gonna die. So you need to kill him yourself. In the meantime, Echo Flip is tanking it. Easy busy. Then you talk to him again. You talk to the disciple of Sep, and there you go. The other one is talking to this cute lady over here. 
she's gonna need a little bit of help. You will need some samples of gobbles. <laughs> Take him to Dragon's Lie. He's gonna do something. Take him back to Corydale. This is a lot more of talking and talking and talking. Oh my god. Then you need to follow some clues. It's like some tracks on the ground. You will find the first ones here on the left. Then you will need to go all the way to the left once more. Just one more. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I love this game, mate. Then this is the last um, pack of tracks you need to follow. Just to realize that the monsters or the enemies just ran away to a zone that we cannot access. Then you talk to the girl again. You go back to the hunter, which is a little bit, you know, famous. You talk back to the girl. And now an Asran here, Maries, will help you out with the mystery. Now, talk to him. You go back to the lady once more. <laughs> once more. Yes, sir. Then after talking to her for this last time, maybe. Is it the last time? <laughs> we'll never know. It's never the last time. Then you found these enemies. They were porks. So you need to kill them. Pretty easy. You need to kill them as many times as characters you have because it's a single fight. You talk to Cory again. You come back to her. You talk to her. And finally you finished. Then the other person to talk to is Nicholas. Nicholas is gonna ask us to do something a little bit tricky. Some witchery, some sorcery, we don't know. All I know is that you will use those resources I mentioned before. If you didn't have these ones in your inventory, it's gonna take you a lot more time. So, guys, have them with you. Now you need to go to certain places in the cemetery and you need to use this artifact to summon some ghosts. Now, I talked to Becky because we need to do a quest for her. And we continue with the Nicholas quest. We use the artifact again. We talk to another ghost. And, uh, well, we keep doing the Becky quest line because the next step is gonna take us a little bit far away. So we will focus on Becky at the moment. You need to run four combats here. Um, they're gonna be single combats. I mean, you can have some help, but you need to do it every single, with every single character. Sorry, so it's gonna be four combats, each one, four times, sixteen combats. <sighs> oh my god, <laughs> that's a lot. I'm not showing you all of them. Then you need to talk to Becky again, and you need to take Finny with you. I love Finny. I love him. Then you need to go to a certain place in the cemetery. And uh, Finny is going to help you track some clues or something like that. He's going to use his little nose to tell you where to go. So you just follow him. Just follow him. Trust him. You will find this sort of dungeon here. You'll realize that you can't access here. So you need Becky's help. She will need to take a look at it to tell you that she's got some tools. So you can just go there, take her tools, and then come back. You talk to Finny because Finny talks. Yeah. And you will find this chamber, this ch secret chamber, and you will need to fight these enemies. Again, you will need to do this combat four times if you have four characters or just once if you only have one character so one fight per combat uh -huh. one fight per combat yeah, yeah yeah one fight per character sorry it's a little bit annoying because there are too many of them but it's uh, it's not easy but it's acceptable it's funny because you'll have some allies so you talk to becky again and uh, that's how we finish with this quest. Now, we go to the other part of the quest of Nicholas. 
and we need to keep on the track with the ghosts and then you will find this one which is not so friendly the other ones were friendly but this one is not friendly at all so you will need to fight some skeletons this combat is i mean <laughs> disgusting mainly because of the archer skeleton because he runs away and stuff like that but i mean it's not difficult it's just boring this combat is boring you need to just chase him a lot but well i know that you guys are really 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 smart and you will do exactly the same or better than me <laughs> now we need to go to nicholas again after talking with this little ghost and he's gonna tell us that we are superheroes <laughs> Not really. And that, my friends, is how you get getaways and ambitious. Which is the last one. And then a strobian track. Oh my god. What are, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh. Talking with Radat Oscar. Yes, sir. Because now, after all this suffer and pain, we've got ourselves from Ingram to Astro. And also, we've got the Silver Duffus, which is the first one. Yes, sir. Oh, my God, mates. You know what? I'm going to take some time here to thank you guys for all this support I've been receiving from you. We are almost... No, no, no. We, we already reached the 20 subscribers, which is amazing i have no words to describe what i'm feeling right now i told you i was hyped like a few days ago but now i'm hyped i mean i'm getting more views i'm getting comments from you guys it, it's like <laughs> thank you very much thank you i'm really happy to have you here i'm really happy to be able to entertain you so i hope this relationship continues and gets better and better now guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop any kind of comment any kind of idea any kind of thought you have on this adventure because i will read you and that was it for today goodbye this was Galbert again see you later